Hey, it's Vic from Strong Sites. If you run a business, especially if you run a restaurant or a food truck or something like that, reviews are huge. Reviews are like word of mouth at scale, right? If people go to your restaurant and like it, they might tell somebody, but if they leave a review, they're also telling people that they don't know personally. Of course, some places like Amazon and even Google business profiles have become a little notorious for review stuffing and that kind of thing. And this video is not about that. That's not good, don't do it. But if you wanna collect more good reviews for your business, for the good work that you do, and divert more potentially negative reviews before they get posted online, this video will help you out. So I'm gonna take you through three different ways that you can collect reviews for your business using your website. The first is the easiest, it's the simplest. So if you have a Google business profile, for example, and that's where you wanna collect as many reviews as possible. You search for your business on Google. If you don't already have ownership of your Google business profile listing, you should claim it, but that's not what this video is about. Assuming you have ownership of it, you see what I see here, and see here where it says read reviews. You click on that, it pops up a new window, and then if you click get more reviews, it gives you a short link that will take people straight to the review dialogue for Google Business. So you could then take that link and put it somewhere on your website. I design websites for lots of different clients and one place that I often put it is the footer. I don't know if it's important enough to justify putting in the header, but if you look down here at the footer of Frank's Pizza and Pasta, see they've got these different places where people can leave reviews. So if we go to the back end of their site, go into edit mode, we're on a Squarespace site, by the way, that's what this is. I've got down here, you can see I've got the different links and that's actually just a link to their Google business listing. I'm gonna edit that link and make it the specifically the review link. So now, I'll click save. Let's go back to their page and I refresh it. If someone scrolls down here to the footer and says, hey, I want to review them on Google, they click the Google link and it pulls right up a review dialogue. So they only have to hit one link and then already they're in the review flow. You can see I already left a review for Frank's Pizza and Pasta because I love Frank's Pizza and Pasta. Ah, oh, miss that place. Make me hungry just looking at it. Now, you can do that with other services too, you can create more or less direct links to the URL. So with Facebook, it's as simple as navigating to the reviews page of the page and grabbing that URL. It's going to look like this, facebook.com slash your page's URL slash reviews. And that's the link you would want to use for Facebook. Yelp has a similar type URL structure. So if you go to their, if you go to your business's Yelp page, and you click write a review, you can grab this URL. It's like yelp.com slash write a review slash biz, and then it's your business's like long unique ID. So you could grab that URL for Yelp, and you can do, I'm trying to remember what TripAdvisor looks like. You hit review, and the URL is slash user review edit, and then it's a bunch of other gobbledygook based on your business's listing. So you can get not just links to your profile, but links to the review page for your profile. And you can just put those in the footer of your website. Now, that's the simplest way to collect more reviews from your website, but it's probably not the best. And here's why. When somebody has a bad experience at your business, you, you don't wanna make it super easy for them to go onto your public review sites and just put you on blast. You wanna to try to connect with them privately so you can make it right and turn their bad experience into a good one. And so when you just link to the review properties from your footer, you're funneling everybody straight to the review page regardless of what kind of experience they had. So there's two ways you could do this. The more complex way would be with a service like reviews on my website or uh, Repuso, which I'm going to show in just a minute. If you're going to go the route of using a third party bit of software 
for my money, I like Repuso. I'll include a link to it in the video footer. It's much cheaper than some of the other review websites and it's pretty flexible. So I'll show you what it looks like from the front end and then from the back end. MST Spot, another restaurant, British tea restaurant in Baltimore. They're using Repuso to embed some positive reviews on their website. And in fact, if you click more, it loads in with more reviews and it'll just keep going if you want and people can click up. And these are pulled straight from the real reviews on Google and Yelp and I think also TripAdvisor, although I'm not sure. Most of these reviews are from Google and Yelp. If you go down to the bottom of Emma's website though, you see this little link that says leave a review. Watch what happens when you hit that. The first thing it asks you is how is your experience? And you can hit a smiley face, hit a math face. If you hit a smiley face, then you are presented with the public links on places you can leave a website, uh, places you can leave a review, the places where Emma's T-Spot would like you to leave a review. But if you click on the math face, it takes you to this, which is a uh, private form. Person can leave their review, and if you want, if you ask them for it, they can leave their contact info, and then you, as the business owner, have a chance to reach out to them and try to make things right. And that whole bit of software. Here's what it looks like on the back end. Emma has set up her review channels that she wants to pull reviews from. And then she's set up her review collection form with what sources she wants to send reviews to. And then here is where it pulls in all the posts from channels and she can either approve or hide, dismiss reviews from showing up on that homepage widget on her website. So this is a step more complicated than just copying the text from some reviews and putting them into a section on your website. This is a, a whole dashboard where you can manage your reviews. That was a pretty negative review. So we'll dismiss that one, hide it from showing publicly. But then this form here in the footer, this leave a review form helps route the positive experiences in the direction of leaving a public review and the negative experiences in the direction of reaching out to you directly. Now that's for Puso. That's nine bucks a month. A lot of the other solutions are more expensive. One other tool that I will highlight here is called Bright Local, which is more than a review collection tool. It's a whole local SEO workspace that enables you to monitor your businesses, not just reviews, but your businesses citation information, how your business is ranking in local search compared to your competitors. You can build citations to try to improve that. You can learn other, you can get other tips from their tool on changes you can make to your website or your online presence to try to improve all of that. And they have a sort of reputation management review, your review management software that's similar to Repuso built into their product. And I've used their product for a lot of, I've used their product for a lot of local SEO work for clients before too, and can highly recommend it. I just haven't done as much with their review collection widget. It seems slightly less mature of a software product than Repuso, but it ain't bad. And if you want to do the other local SEO stuff too, it could be useful. So I'll include a link for that in the video description. All of that is great, but complicated to set up. The third option, the one I'm gonna show you now, is what I think is the sweet spot, the sort of balance between the two. It costs you nothing extra. If you already have a website, this is something you can build on your existing website that will function kind of like that review funnel that, you, that I just showed you, but just using a few pages on your website. Let's look at an example of this on uh, Shinkatik Bike Shop. This is another, this is a client site of mine. Okay, here on their page, you go down to the bottom, they're an e-bike rental place on Chincoteague uh, Island, Virginia. Cool spot. So you go to the bottom, here it says leave a review. Watch what happens when they hit that. You see here, I'm logged into the back end of their website and you can see all of the pages of their site right here. And you see I've organized here this review flow. There's the leave a review page, there's the leave a positive review, and then I give feedback page. So when someone clicks on that link in the footer that says leave a review, it just takes them to this leave a review page. And it's a very simple page because the whole purpose of this page is to route people according to their experience. 
And this has just got a logo and then some text and it says, how was it? How was your experience with this? I'll go into edit mode so you can see what the blocks are. Image block, text block, two button blocks. How was your experience with this? It was great. Not so great. So two different buttons, two different emoji. Look where they link. So the, it was great button links to the positive review page. The not so great button links to the give feedback. Let's go out and test those. Someone doesn't have a good experience. They hit not so great. Here's what it takes them to. Another simple page. Oh no, please tell us what happened. The owner here wanted to include his phone number as well because he just wants people to call him directly if they're unhappy. So you can try to make it right. But then also you've got a forum here. And again, this website is built using Squarespace. You can do this kind of thing on any content management system, on any website that you have editing power over to make custom pages, you can build this flow. So the give feedback, the sort of negative feedback page will have either contact info or a form with whatever questions you want to have and then a place for that form to go, right? That's the give feedback, the negative feedback form. If someone hits, it was great. It takes them to a page that has links out to your favorite public review places. So in the case of this business, Google, Facebook, Yelp, and TripAdvisor. And each of those is a link specifically, not just to their profile on that website, but to the review page if possible on that website. And so all you have to do to build a review flow like this on your own website is create three pages. The first one is the routing page and you can call that leave a review. And ideally you want to make the URL slug really simple. If I was, I might even, why don't I do leave a review? I'm going to, I'm going to keep it short. I'm just going to make it review. Let's make sure this works. Boom. Okay. So yeah, you create a routing page. That's what I'm calling leave a review here that just has something simple like this and has the two buttons that then they can self-select, go to the great experience, not great experience page. And then you got to build those two pages that have on the great experience that have links out to your review sites and the negative experience page that has some type of way for them to contact you directly. You're welcome to put direct contact info in there, but a form can also be helpful. The other thing you'll notice that I did with these three pages, and this may or may not be an option on your content management system. If you're doing it on Squarespace, you can do this really easily, but you notice I've hidden the normal header and footer. If we go to the home page, it's got this whole header navigation here. It's got a whole nice big old footer with a mini site map and contact info and stuff. I've hidden all of that on these review pages because I want to keep it really focused on channeling the people through this funnel. And how I did that on Squarespace is here in the page settings under code injection, you can use this little code snippet. You can find this online a bunch of different places. I'll try to remember to leave it in the comments of the YouTube video. If you have a Squarespace site, you can use this to hide the header and the footer. Or if you just want to hide the header, you would delete the footer sections part. Or if you just want to hide the footer, you delete the header section part. You get the idea. I've hidden everything except for this core content on these three pages. I want to keep it real simple, real streamlined. I included this logo that links back to the home page as a way to get back if somebody hits it accidentally or whatever. But if you build these three pages on your website, they don't have to be listed in the navigation. In fact, you don't want to list these two in the navigation and you might even want to hide these from search engines. Now I think, yeah, I kept the review funnel page visible to search engines, but if I remember correctly, yep, I hid the positive review and negative review pages from search results. You don't want anyone just stumbling onto those pages. You only want them to get there if they've gone through the flow, the review flow from your link. And the other cool thing about that link, you don't have to just limit it to your website. A lot of businesses will have a QR code or a little line on the bottom of people's receipt that asks them to leave a review. All those kind of things, you could point those to this URL, yourbusiness.com slash review, if that's what you made the URL slug and drive more reviews through this funnel. Again, to get more of the good ones public and, 
any potentially negative ones hopefully reaching out to you directly can't stop people from griping online some people love to do it but setting up a funnel like this is a good faith effort to connect with people who've had a negative experience and are looking to actually talk with you about it if all of this seems overwhelming maybe you don't even have a website maybe you do but it sucks i can help with that too what we have here is chuck wagon which is a premium squarespace template for restaurants and food trucks and it has built into it this exact review flow that i just showed you with the how is your experience page the routing thing the positive review action the negative review action all you need to do is is swap out your info put your links here in these on these positive review buttons and of course this website has much more than this. It's got all the things that a restaurant or food truck would need in a website. Of course, a homepage, a menu page that's got a place to easily keep your menu in a format that's actually readable on all device sizes, as opposed to the people who post a PDF menu or even worse, a screenshot of a PDF menu to their website. It's got a real text formatted menu on there. It's got a catering page if, if you do catering with a place to have all your FAQs and a detailed catering request form where people can give you all the information you would need to know in order to fulfill their catering request. If you're a food truck or if you do public events, it's got a schedule page, good old classic contact page. That's the Chuck Wagon theme. It's available now, launch sale pricing, 123 bucks and customer support from yours truly. Look, if you do any one of these three things, just the basic straight link to the Google review page in the footer of your website, or if you do something more sophisticated like Repuso or Bright Local, or if you do this three page flow that I just showed you, you'll be ahead of 90% of businesses in terms of making it easy for people to leave good reviews online or to leave negative feedback to you directly rather than posting it publicly. I know how important reviews are to businesses. If you've got an aggregate review rating of less than four stars on the platforms where people are looking you up, good luck. They're gonna go with the next one that has four and a half plus star average. And so creating funnels like this and then actually encouraging your customers, your happy customers to go through it is a great way to drive up the number of real, honest, authentic reviews that you have on your site and boost your business's profile online. Hope this has been helpful. See ya.